<sighs> God, I'm tired. Uh, Genevieve, darling, is that you? Mm -hmm. Oh, M Mrs. Alistair, hey. It's been a while since I've seen you out. Late night study sessions for college, you know. How you been? Can't complain, dear. Harold's up north working, but I've been tending to the plants. Apparently it's going to be a rough autumn, so I want to make sure they're getting the nutrients they need. Well, next time you talk to him, tell him I said hi. I'm finished with college now and graduation's next week, so I don't know if I'll be around when he comes back. That's so exciting, dear. Congratulations, I'll let him know. You have a good night now. You too. Can't wait to relax. <laughs> Uh, hello? Is, is someone there? I guess it was just the wind. Sweet home. Oh yeah, that couch has my name written all over it. Mm. One more week, Genevieve. One more week in this town. You just gotta graduate, and then you can finally move out to nature. Ugh, can't wait to have an actual outdoor garden. Hmm. Huh? Um, one minute. Hi, can I help you? <laughs> Genevieve, uh, hi. Hi. Sorry, do I know you? It's George. Uh, we have physics together. <laughs> oh, yeah, George. Hey. What are you doing here? I'm actually meeting a, a friend for dinner, but I'm not too familiar with the town, and I, I, I was wondering if maybe I could use your bathroom. <laughs> It's such a coincidence that this was your house. <laughs> oh, um... I'll be super quick. You won't even know I'm here. Uh, okay, come in. <sighs> so, I have a bathroom. It's just through to my bedroom and on the right. Oh, th th thank you so much. I'm, I'm still getting used to the town. You know, I, I don't come here often. <laughs> Right, yeah. Where do you live again, George? Oh, uh, out in the forest. Oh, well, my, my family does. Um, I, I'm planning to move out, though, after we graduate. <laughs> oh, the forest. Wow. I've always wanted to move out to nature more. Yeah, it, it's amazing out there. Really quiet and private. What are you doing? I, I, I came out of the b bathroom. I, I, I saw it rigging. I, I, um. Right. Well, you can leave it. I got it from here. Thanks. Right. Right. Uh, this is, this is, sorry. And if you're done in the bathroom, you can head out. Uh, of course. Um, Genevieve? Um, are you okay, George? I just wanted to say that if you ever wanted to see some cool places in the forest, I can show you around. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. I mean, you'd know more about it than anybody else living out there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll think about it. Goodbye now, George. Yeah, uh, uh, bye Genevieve. Hmm. 
yo, yo, Jenny, why didn't you pick up? Hey, Dina, sorry, I, um, I had a guest. Ooh, what kind of company? Um, the uncomfortable kind. Oh, yeah. Do you mind coming over? I don't have anything planned for tomorrow, and it would just be nice to have some good company. Oh, yeah, of course. Give me, like, 20 minutes to get ready and head over. Thanks, girl. I'll see you soon. Bye. I hate that stupid boar. <laughs> Take a shower before Dina gets here. Much better. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm coming. Uh, Dina, is that yes, you? Is. Oh my dog. Thank you for coming over. Yeah, it's no problem. Are you okay? Um. Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, uh, you're only wearing a towel right now. Oh my dog, I, I'm so sorry. I, um, just wait here, I'll go get changed. <laughs> no rush, and I don't mind, honestly. I just wanted to make sure you were safe, you know? You sounded a little concerned on the phone. And I'm very eager to hear more about this uncomfortable guest you had over. I, I don't even know if it was uncomfortable, okay? It, it might have just all been in my head. Well, give me the rundown. Was he like an ex or something? No, no, nothing like that. Honestly, I think the guy was just a bit recluse and didn't really know how to talk to people. I mean, he was polite and he obviously knew me from class, but I don't know. Maybe I just overreacted about it all and I shouldn't have even called you here. I'm sorry. You better be joking. If you feel uncomfortable about something, always trust your gut. I'm fine coming over here. Are you sure? I feel like a bit of an idiot and this poor guy just needed to use my bathroom. Maybe he did, but if he was giving you the heebie-jeebies, best to call me, right? Plus, I kind of still have an assignment to hand in, so I was wondering if I could borrow your laptop and have a girl's night. Wow, using me for my laptop. <laughs> Fair play. You want to order some takeaway? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Come on. Hmm. Do you know another word for somebody who doesn't know how to make up their mind? Um, indecisive? Hmm. Yeah, thanks. Hey, is it bad that I'm already getting tired? Oh, no. I said I was staying up all night anyway. If you need to sleep, go ahead. Are you sure? I feel a bit bad, you know, leaving you. I invite you over and then just go to bed. Especially with all the freaking noises that have been happening around here. You do realize the wind is something that exists, right? And kids playing pranks? <laughs> Seriously, you need to stop watching so much true crime shows. It's messing with your head, girl. Ha ha, very funny. Are you sure you'll be okay by yourself, though? Yep. Now go to bed. I'll be fine. And if the boogeyman comes and gets me, you'll be the first to know, okay? <laughs> okay. Thanks again, Dina. Good night. Mm-hmm. Have a good sleep. <clears throat> Okay, direct this to Professor Q. Hmm? <laughs> 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 <laughs>